Hello there, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills and grow as a designer. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to save time by linking files in Adobe Photoshop. So what is linking a file? Well, linking a file is just that. It is linking an external file, whether it's locally on your computer or on a hard drive, into a design document. So whether that's in Photoshop, InDesign or Illustrator, they all support this feature. And it means that if the file changes outside of Photoshop, so if it's a logo, for example, and the colors change, the logo design generally changes, you can update it with a few clicks within the design application and it will load in that latest version. So if you have lots of different documents and that logo is used across all of them, if there are any changes that are required to be made to the logo, you can simply update the logo file itself and then all of those linked files, those linked images will be updated in a few clicks rather than having to go into each file and manually update the logo with any changes. So it's a much more time efficient way of working in my opinion. So at the moment on screen, we have a homepage design. I'm kind of kicking myself now because I used this in a tutorial the other day and I layered the whole PSD all nicely and everything and, and I got rid of it for some reason. <laughs> so here we go. I've separated this now into nav. So that's the top navigation, the footer, and then all the content in the middle. So this is just a home page. Imagine if we had, let's say 10 or 20 screens. So whether it's a website or an app, and there's some elements within this design, so the nav and the footer, that will be reused across all of those screens. Now, we don't want to manually copy all those layers from one PSD to another, because if they do change, if the client says, oh, can you just reorder those bits and change that and move the thing over there and change the color, then we've got to do that manually across all of those pages. And that is a headache. However, if we separate the nav and the footer, these global elements into their own file and then link that back into the main design document, if we need to update that or make any changes, we can do it in a few clicks. So that's what we're going to look at now. So we'll take the nav and we'll right click on this folder and go to duplicate group. And from the destination document, we will select new and click OK. And it will add this to a new file and don't worry about all the excess space here that's easily fixable we can use the crop or the marquee tool just to select the area that is our nav it just means we don't have any kind of excess space around the edge so it's a little bit tidier and easier to work with and I'm just using the marquee tool and I'm going to go to image and crop so the nav is now trimmed to size Then we can go to file save as and you can see I've got a Photoshop folder with my homepage document here, and I've got a links folder as well. It's a good idea if you are going to link assets, images, or files to, in my opinion, bundle them together with your project. Because if you have lots of links all over the place, and then you start renaming or moving those files, it's gonna break all your links and it's gonna be a headache. So I have a links folder just to keep everything together. So we'll call this first one nav. That's a PSD file, and I'm gonna save that. So you can see it's now listed here and we can close that down and actually we can delete the layered folder from our main design document and then go to file place linked and we're going to select our nav from our links folder and place it back in and you'll see we get these transform controls and we can rotate it and stuff if we need to but we're not going to and because it's a linked image it's signified by that cross going through the middle. So we're just going to move this back up and reposition it so it's nice and flush to the edge. And you'll now see that this is a single layer, it's not a folder, and it's still pulled in that file name nav. So this is great, rather than having loads of layers, it just tidies everything up and now I've got a single layer. And if I need to edit the nav at all, I can either load the PSD file up separately or I can just double click on this thumbnail here with the link icon and it will load that PSD up. Now watch this, I can change the text here. So I'm gonna change the color of the home text to yellow. And all I need to do is go to file and save. I can keep it open or I can close this down now. Let's just close it down. And you can see it's updated that change within the document. So let's go ahead and do this for the footer as well. So we'll right click on the footer, duplicate group, and select that destination document as new. 
Of course, it's not to size, but that's fine. Using the crop or the marquee tool, we're just going to trim this to size. And we'll select image crop. And we'll save the footer. That's something called footer in the same links folder next to nav. We do have all these links here. Uh, links layers we have all these layers here if we need to go and edit the footer so that's all fine it's still layered so we don't lose that but we can then delete it from the main design file and go to file place linked navigate to the footer and we'll drop that back in and we'll just drag that to the bottom and zoom in and make sure it's nice and flush up against the edge perfect so now we have our nav our footer and our content. Now the content we'll leave as is because this is only relevant for the home page. but the nav and the footer is something that's going to appear on lots of different pages. And as I said before, if your website or your app contains a lot of screens and your client or whatever you need to make changes or they ask for changes, you can you can save yourself a lot of time by setting these up as linked files because then you only have to change that one file. Let me show you. So we'll go and create a new PSD file. So this is going to be another page. So we've got the home page here. This is going to be another page. So we'll call this <laughs> very creatively another page. And we'll add this into our Photoshop folder. That was a very villainous laugh, wasn't it? Haha, <laughs> another page. Right, so we've got another page. And I'll give this some sort of color. There's no design for this, but we're going to have that as the background color. So what we can do now is we have our nav and our footer as linked images. We can hold shift and left click to select both of them and simply right click, duplicate layers and select the destination document as another page. Naha! Twizzles moustache and click OK and it will add those in. So it's easier to duplicate them when they're in the correct position from one file to another rather than go and place them and then have to manually position them. In fact, we can do this across many documents. Just right click, duplicate, 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 duplicate. You get the idea. It will add it to all those documents very quickly. And now the client comes along and says, Aha! The same voice. Aha! I need you to change my navigation. We need to change the home text to pink. And you go, eh, no problem. I'll just select this. We'll change it to pink. And remember, we can just go file and save. And then it's updated that change in both another page. Naha! And, and uh, I'm enjoying myself far too much. And, and on the home page as well. So if the client needs to change the footer as well, or if you just decide that you uh, you want to change the footer, you've got a lot more flexibility. So we can change the text in the footer to yellow just because yellow is awesome and again file save we can close these down now and it's updated all of those changes across both another page and across the home page so as I said if you have lots of screens within your app or web design or whatever it is you're going to save yourself so much time by linking these global assets that are reused across multiple screens all together because then you could just have them in one place and when you need to update them it takes a few clicks. It's uh, it's a much easier and more time efficient way of working in my opinion. So I hope that was helpful. And there we go, that's how to save time by linking files in Adobe Photoshop. As always guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments below. Like this video if you enjoyed it, take care and I'll see you next time. I don't know where that <laughs> came from. Evil client laugh, that's... We should do that from now on I think. Any kind of any kind of impression of a client is <laughs> I need to go home. <laughs>